Holy shit, Brad, am I dreaming? We got a new episode of My Damn Halls. good everybody welcome back to another edition of my damn hauls what is going on man i hope you guys are having a fantastic day today ladies and gentlemen we have the return of my damn hauls now i have a sick ass figure in here and to be fair with you i did open the package which i do apologize i will apologize for that but i i was waiting on this custom figure to come in so i wanted to go ahead and rip the hoe open you know i just wanted to freaking smash the package open there get that thing out in the open so that we could break it down i could find out all the details in there and we have some epic this in this package, man. You're not going to believe it. Some sick-ass stuff. And I have to give a huge shout-out to my man, P-A-J. I, I say Paj or Paj underscore customs on Instagram, man. Dude is super talented, super underrated. I have, I think, a couple Finn Balors in my collection from him. And he's just a fantastic customizer. And when I saw this opportunity to buy this custom, not only is it my first ever AEW Unrivaled custom, at least to my knowledge. Let me look real quick. I'm pretty damn sure this is, like, my first custom that is actually on on an AEW Unrivaled figure, like not taking parts from one figure and putting it on another, you know, fix-up swappages, uh, you know, just kind of morphing together a Mattel WWE Elite and an AEW Unrivaled. Pretty sure this is my first custom there, but not only is that in the package, but we have something that is so spectacular. I'm gonna have to show it to you. Unbelievable. Like, it's so beautiful. I had to cover it in the video, man, and break it down, but with all that being said, man, welcome back to My Damn, my damn Halls here. We got a new episode. We have some other things to show off, so let's just shut the hell up and dive in, man and get started with everything we have on this episode. So the only way to crack open this package, ladies and gentlemen, even though it's already cracked open, is with the trusty knife. Get yeah, oh, it's already open. Well, he's got to get a little action in there. Thank you, trusty knife. Thank you. You're you're a freaking specimen of the channel. I've, I've had this. The only OGs remember the trusty knife, all right? Trusty knife's been around for forever, man. Been around forever. Absolute unit. What a beast. Looks beautiful. Fantastic. Terrific. Awesome. Get him off the screen now. Go away. All right. So in this package, man, you're not going to believe it. All right. Let's go ahead and get all the contents out of the packaging real quick. Let's go make sure. Okay. We're empty over here. All right. We got it out of the mailer. Now, the thing that we have to do, Brad, is should I undo the custom first? Let's go ahead and do undo do the custom first and then we'll run it back and show you guys the other piece of the puzzle so i'll put this over here for now and then we will unwrap this so when i saw this it was too good of a price to pass up and Polish Customs is a really fantastic customizer. So I just knew I had to own this, man. I knew I had to own it and add it to the collection. You guys will see what I'm talking about. So in here, you guys will see, we do have some shooter hands. So who is who does that mean? What does that mean, Brad? That means that we have ourselves a custom AEW unrivaled Kenneth Omega. Look at it right here, Brad. What a beautiful specimen. Got the Series 4 head sculpt on there. Let's go ahead and get the zoom in shot. So it does look like he used an AEW unrivaled for Kenny, if I'm not mistaken. But you guys can see here on the crotch, this is a Santana Series 4 figure, I'm pretty sure. You know, you get the, like, rippled up pants that he used to wear in New Japan all the time. You got the Bullet Club knee pads. You have Kenny Omega's classic Bullet Club elite attire in the black and white, and I just knew I had to own this, man. Look how beautiful. Look at these kick pads. Man's got the K Omega with the cleaner. He's even got the white on there. He's got the paint splatter. What a beautiful freaking figure, man. I mean, I had to have this. This, bro. I had to have this when I saw it. Now, one thing I will say is the Santana legs are a little bit shorter than Kenny Omega, so like, uh, huh, they're pretty even. Maybe I'm mistaken, Brad. Maybe because, maybe he switched the lower legs of the Santana. I think maybe he put the Kenny Omega lower legs on there. Anyways, doesn't matter. What a beautiful figure, man. I, I love this. It feels really good in the hand, and I, I could use this on MDT. I don't know if I will now, but just to, like, okay, long fans of the channel, just think about this for a second. Close your eyes and just imagine Imagine how, what, what the first versions of the Kenny Omega in the pick fed think of this figure now. Like how beautiful and upgraded it is and how, how beautiful it is. Head sculpt, all these things. Imagine what that figure feels like right now. I, I don't think I even own it anymore. I think I destroyed it or like broke him down. I wish I still had it for like sentimental purposes. But just imagine what he's, what he's thinking right now, man. He must be a proud son of a bitch. To look back on this and see this beautiful specimen after those ugly customs we had to deal with in the beginning. And now look at him 
time, man. Got a beautiful official AEW Unrivaled Bullet Club Kenny. My God, what a time to be alive right now. But that's not the only thing we have, man. We have this beautiful Kenny to go right here. That's going to go great in the Kenny Omega collection. I still have plenty of other Kennys to add to the collection, but this right here, when you see what's in this little bag, and a huge shout out to Paj, or Paige, because he just threw this in for free for buying the custom because I hit him up. He posted these on his story. He posted these custom Roman Reigns gauntlets on his story, and I replied, that is the sickest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, and you guys are going to see what I'm talking about right here, and watch this fix-up custom Roman I'm about to make. You're going to be freaking mind-blown. If I could get this shit open. Look at this Roman Reigns gauntlet right here, bro. He did like three or four different colors. He did the red one. He did like a light blue one that was sick as hell. And then he made this silver one. And just look how clean that is, bro. Look at the lines. And he's got like this dark gray and silver going on on this gauntlet. Dude, that is like Roman Reigns needs to do this in real life. Look how sick that is, bro. I have to put this on my Roman over here. Now, I did bring out... This is my... So, you guys know I have my fix-up MDT Live Roman. So, I did have to bring out one of my extra Romans. Or I had to uh, dig out my gold gauntlet Roman right here. I'm going to put this on him so we can see what it looks like. And I did bring out the black gauntlet to go on the other side. Because I think it works out better if it has a black gauntlet over here. Not a gold gauntlet and then a silver gauntlet. And not only did he include the gauntlet. He also included this beautiful Roman Reigns head sculpt, man. So, just adding to the custom Roman. The, Romans co the Roman collection is just growing exponentially. Look at this Roman head sculpt. Oh my lord in heaven. Beautiful looking Roman head sculpt. I'm hoping this is what his next head sculpt looks like like with the beard thickness and the fade on the side so hopefully that will be the thing but what a beautiful head sculpt man. If you guys wanted a difference like just look at that difference right there bro. They both look insane. I think I'm gonna put this one over here that way you know I have a little bit of a different look there with the silver gauntlet and stuff. Probably gonna have to order another Roman that way I can have a, a dual gold gauntlet Roman and you know I did the, the Roman the Roman fix ups on the channel and in the collection have grown so much like there's so many Romans but how can I not pop this off I thought that all these heads were like interchangeable now this is the top picks or whatever right I can tell you right now I'm not about to get the damn trusty hair dryer out here I may effing have to I don't know why the head sculpt is being such a pain in the ass I don't think that's coming off bro all right I popped the head off I did require the trusty hair dryer son of a bitch but here we go we're gonna pop on the actually I'm gonna wait on the custom head sculpt I'm gonna go ahead and pop these gauntlets on here yeah pop the gold off I'm gonna have to order Order another Roman man because this this silver gauntlet Roman is too freaking sick to not have included in the care package I don't know what I'm talking about so we'll just remove the gold gauntlet Roman right there then slide on the silver gauntlet now he didn't include a mic holding hand but that's really not even that big of a deal Brad I could just punch everyone's face off and then we take the long beard on here and plop this on Holy freaking crap. Now, if that's not the sickest shit you've ever seen, Brad, oh my lord in heaven. That is disgusting. Yeah, that's clean as hell. One thing I will say is I think, like, maybe if this, maybe if this gauntlet, I like the black, maybe if this gauntlet was, like, dark gray, or even if you did both of them silver, it would still look badass, but I feel like if he had, like, flat gray or matte gray uh, pants on or, or something like that, that would look sick AF too, but damn, bro, what a beautiful looking roll. Roman Reigns now. That, that is so beautiful, man. Thank you so much to Paj. Again, go follow him on Instagram, man. Great customizer. Very underrated, but outside of the Roman and the Kenny, uh, I, I just wanted to showcase the six Cena's again, because I thought that was pretty cool right there, so we did grab those. If you guys missed our toy hunt from yesterday, please go check that out. It was very, very fun. But to shout out to the original Kenny Omega that uh, we had in the pick fed way back in the day, we gotta put the Elite Championship on this Bullet Club Kenny Omega just for the shishes and the shishes gigs just so you know people can know about that right there because that's that's so cool bro look at that that's so sick look at roman look at kenny oh my god what an epic return of my damn halls and there's roman with the blue universal championship which looks sick but dude he did a red one and a blue one that looks sick as hell too making me want to just experiment with the, is he gonna make me make like a rainbow of fucking infinity gauntlet ass roman reigns figures i don't know bro it looks dirty because he added the details to the hand and this so like while the gold gauntlet is super sick from Mattel right here I think it would look even better if it had like a dark brown to make some contrast with it and then they did the same thing on the hand right here that he did where you know you make the lines and the details I think that would probably make it look better and plus the peg is skin tone instead of the silver but anyways guys 
I think that is going to wrap up today's video and My Damn Hall's episode, man. Super fun, super awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the return. I know we didn't have a lot of stuff going on, but it was some sick-ass stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. But a huge shout-out to Pash again for the epic custom. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys, And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and do not cross the line like me. When I bought six John Cena's. You crossed the line.